Hey guys, it's me Reba, and I want to do a video on two different things. Um, so as you can tell, this is probably just more of a random video than a business-based um, video. So with that being said, let's get started on the topic. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is boyfriend versus man, or yeah, boyfriend versus man. Um, and now with that being said, I don't want nobody to take this information to the bank. This is just my personal, personal opinion. Um, but yeah, I have a issue with the word boyfriend for adults. Um, you know, when you grow up in school, you got to live away from the you told dating, you know, phone dating and stuff like that. Going nowhere but school and home. But, you know, you're dating. You have, well, you're not really dating, but you have a boyfriend. And boy meaning a boy. Um, a boy. When you think of a boy, it's more like, oh, he has a little boy or he has a boy. You would think of kids, children, not understanding, they have a mindset of kid, they're growing, they're learning, that's what they're doing, quote unquote, boyfriend, you're in high school with a boyfriend, you're in middle school, got the big, I'm with a boyfriend, um, you have a boy that's growing, getting information, learning how to become a man, now I want you I feel once you hit at least 20, you should stop referring to your mate or significant other as a boyfriend. I feel like boyfriend still gives you that image or connotation of a boy, and that's what I have is a boy. Now with that said, a lot of guys, a lot of guys are still boys. Um, and that's all ages, all ages, um, but a lot of them are still boys. We as society and females and women accept them being boys because a lot of us really don't know what we're looking for and the difference between a man and a boy. Um, so with us referring to them as boyfriends, like I said, a lot of them our boys, a lot of them are still growing and maturing and trying to learn and fumbling through life, trying to find out, you know, what manhood is. Now, once again, I'm a female, I've never been a man in my life, so I can't tell you exactly what manhood is and how to become one, but I think we as people can look at a male a guy until like they're a man or a boy or a male. Um, excuse me, my eyes always irritates me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, as I'm dating someone, um, but I rarely, really, really refer to him as a boyfriend. Um, rarely say boyfriend can't stand the word despise it when it comes to adults because we should not still be looking for a boyfriend we should be looking for a man no no wait we should not be looking for anything but we should only be accepting men in our lives if you find someone that's maturing and turning into a man that's different but these guys out here that's a boy and stay away forever and we're accepting that saying it's okay then that's that's a problem um my significant other that i am seeing now that i'm talking to now i call him my honey that's how i refer to him i never say boyfriend can't like i said can't stand the word for adults you just can't stand the word for adults. Um, so I call Marnie. You know, at the end of the day, that is my man. I've known him for seven years, and I've seen him grow from being a, you know, semi-teenager just finishing high school to growing to a 
becoming a man, growing up to a man, being responsible, taking care of himself, his family, things like that. And I love it. I love it. Um, but throughout the years, I've seen the difference between having a boy and having a boyfriend and having a man in your life. Um, so yes, that's my number one topic. My second thing I would like to actually talk about is being a man and us allowing these guys, if they still are boys, or if they're a man, we just decide that we don't want them to be, to allow them to be men. Um, and I say that from, from personal experiences. I've um, talked to a few guys, dated a few guys, boys, you know, and I think at the end of the day, I can take responsibility in my part of the relationship on how it turned out and with them staying in this boy mentality. Um, with me being mama instead of a woman. Um, my past couple of relationships, I was the basically like the man in the relationship. I took care of everything. We went out, I paid, I did all of that. All of that. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But yes, it was me. I did it. I did all of that. And couldn't figure out why I always ended up with these boys that were supposed to be men and but they weren't because I was doing all the work and you know I'm bragging about how I'm doing all the work and um, how stupid of a female I am for doing all the work and I realized you know going back and looking now I realized that I never made them either stand up or step out those are the only two options if you're going to stand up to the plate and be a man that you're supposed to be or you're going to step out go into the boy world and let another man come in that's supposed to be a man in my life and i think we as females you know do that a lot do i think it's anything wrong with us taking out our mate every once in a while no i don't but for us to reverse the role and be the person that's being head over the household, making sure everything is getting paid, making sure we go out that we're taking that on in that bill. And he's stepping in the boy department and we're like mama taking care of boy and whatever, then that's when a lot of the problems start to step in, you know? And I think we as females need to start challenging these guys and these boys to look, either you wanna step up or step out, step up or step out. I'm not going to sit and take care of you just because I want to feel normal, because I have a boyfriend, or I want to feel like, okay, I'm girly because I have a boyfriend. Um, I don't want a boyfriend anymore. I want a man. If you're not going to be a man, then it's time to leave and let whoever else step into that position because that's what they are, that's what they are and that's what they're ready to do. And those are the only two options you have. Step up, step out that's it um learned that took a minute to learn it um took time to learn it but like that's my message mostly these days to women young girls you know even if you're a teenager you don't have to accept things that you don't like or you don't want to be able to have some type of standard, you know, it's like, well, what is love? A lot of people don't know what love is. I can tell you I don't know what love is, but I can tell you what I will accept and what I won't accept. And I did do a video on love versus acceptance. Um, and I did that because if you go and ask people what love is, if you go and ask 10 people what love is, more than likely all 10 answers will be different 
no one has the same definition um which is i don't know if that's good or that's bad you know if you go and ask you what's up then up has basically one definition you know but when it comes to love and emotion they have multiple 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 definitions and who are we to say what's right and what's wrong which is why i like to say love versus acceptance because in my book if i can accept you for who you are and you can accept me for who i am flaws and all then that will also make a great 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 relationship and i mean can acceptance like that be equal to love it could but like i said i'm not a pro professional or you know gods and they'll be like oh yeah that's what it is because at the end of the day i don't don't know um but what i do know is that we as women need to step aside and become women and not become you know the man in the relationship the guy in the relationship or the boy in the relationship i think at the end of the day we'll never be able to be men in a relationship because we'll never understand what it is to be a man but we can't say that we've been the male part of a relationship or of the relationship so moral of this video step down off of the man male guy role and come back to your female role you know but yes that's my randomness of video today to y'all wonderful people um any questions or whatever concerns input down below y'all know how that works please do like dislike subscribe um yeah i'll probably do well i don't know those that follow you'll see where we go from here on you know um but yeah until next time talk to you beautiful people later bye